Hello, welcome back to another video on a guide in NTW3. Today, we will be looking into the use of missile cavalry. There are two types of missile cavalry, firearms and bows. The most efficient in damage are firearms but the most efficient in harassing and scouting are the bows. The bows are not as powerful as other missile cavalry with firearms. They are fast to reload, have good range, and are fast as most of them are C9s. Their cons are that they are very weak against melee attacks in both offensive and defensive. Now let us look into the pros and the cons of firearms cavalry. The pros of firearm cavalry are their firearms. Although they are not well suited for melee combat, their firepower can be extremely devastating. What's more is that in an experienced player's hands, the missile cavalry is a force to be reckoned with. Often doing hit and run attacks, the opponent would surely be irritated by them. The con of firearm cavalry are Their firearms have a shorter range than an infantry firearm, so using them comes with a huge risk. Get too close and they could be charged instantly. Stand too far, then they would be out of range. Enter melee combat and they would not last very long. Now let us look at the best way of using these types of units in NTW3. First, we must begin with the range. Your cursor plays an important part in using this unit. All you need to do is to focus on the color. When it is red, it means that it is not in range. But if the cursor turns gray, then it is in range. When you move your missile cavalry and then the cursor turns gray, then you should manually halt by running a short distance forward, like so. Do not click the enemy to manual aim, as the system would make your firearm cavalry move too close, and before they could raise their rifles, they would be charged. You must avoid pressing backspace or clicking the halt button, you must do it manually by running a little forward. Why? Because if you do it by pressing backspace or the halt icon, it would take more time for them to form up and fire. However, if you do it manually, it would speed up the process. Make sure you are either in these two formations, columns of three lines or two lines deep. Your Achilles heel is your speed. You must get them to fire as soon as possible and run away immediately. Fail in a mistake to do something, then the entire plan falls apart. Remember, speed is the most important matter when your cavalry is seen then there is no turning back as the enemy is now aware. In my opinion, the most favorable target for missile cavalry are heavy cavalry. You must be well aware, if the enemy has light cavalry, once in melee there is a huge chance of your unit breaking. In some factions, some missile cavalry are guerrilla units. You can use this advantage to take out wandering cannons, skirmishers, or generals. Thanks for watching my video. Be sure to like and subscribe for future content. Be sure to check the description to join the NTW3 clan, Les Géants, or the Ancient Military History Discord server. As always, thanks for stopping by, 
and I hope to see you next time.